holidays and we're live guys hashtag live you're watching this live hashtag replay if you are watching the replay hashtag live if you're watching live hashtag replay if you're watching the replay if you are on social media and you're watching this live drop a one in the comment if you're on social media and you are watching this live drop a one inside of the actual comment guys drop a one drop a one Drop it, one, one, one. What's going on, Drewby? What's going on, Javier? We got people live. Oh, boy. Here we go. We got a large audience today, ladies and gentlemen. We got a nice large audience today. What's going on, Philip? What's going on, Nico? What's going on, Damien? What's going on, Lorraine? Guys, what's up, Eric? Let's go. Let's go. Guys, the more you hit the like button, the more you drop comments, the more you got excl exclamation points, Every all that shit riles me up. I'm ready to go. Okay, the more you show love the more I will show love if you are watching this and you're ready to rock and roll Drop a hashtag live right now if you're watching live if you're watching the replay hashtag replay We're gonna get started here in a minute. We're gonna let people roll on in. We're gonna let people roll on in guys We got some exciting news for you guys today. I just don't know if you're ready for it Carlos uh, I don't know if I should tell him Carlos, can we get the GoPro in the back? Let's get the GoPro going in the back. We got the GoPro. What's going on, everybody? Guys, this place is so cool that I'm taking the other half of the office and I'm putting the actual office in here. Right? I'm doing it over the weekend, so we're pretty excited about that. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. I know you're ready to roll. I know it's 2000 and what? 19, guys. It's a brand new year. It's a brand new year, people. It is not only new, it's about as new as you can get. Okay, it's 2019. Today is what? I think it's January 3rd, 3 p.m. EST. We got people watching from all over the world. Those of you guys watching in Europe, those of you guys watching in the United States, in Canada, in Australia, we got people all over. Guys, do me a favor. Go ahead and drop in the comment this, 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 either the city that you're from or the state or the country. Drop in your location. Let's people know. Let's, let's see where you guys are. I'm pretty curious to see. Eric says Canada here. Denver. Dylan says Denver. Dallas, Texas. Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Chicago. Whoa, boy. Oh, boy. What happened, Carlos? Should I tone it down? Should I tone? Guys, we're having a little bit of loud problems. Ah, oh, it snuck up inside, did it now? All right, let's go, um, let's go full mode. Let's go full mode. Let's ready to get rock and roll, guys. Let's ready to rock and roll. And I'm going to be switching through, guys. Uh, we got Oregon. We got LA in the house. Woo! All right, here we go, guys. Let's go PMP. PNP. PMP. All right, so we got some pretty cool stuff we're going to be talking about today, guys. Um, I got my agenda here, so I came prepared, okay, guys? So here we go. The first agenda topic that we're going to speak about today at Dash Click Studios for Episode 3 of Marketer's Mindset. Oh, boy. Okay, guys, we're going to talk about some new features inside of Dash Clicks first. Then the second thing that we're going to talk about is how to improve your retention rate and how to actually keep clients so they continue paying you forever. Who wants to hear how to keep clients paying you every single month over and over and over and never stopping? Drop a one right now if that's something that you think would be pretty cool if you can get people to pay you every single month, right? Wouldn't that be cool if you can just keep all of your customers forever and then you just keep stacking and stacking and stacking, right? Wouldn't that be awesome? I think it's pretty cool. We do it all the time and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, okay guys? So that's the first thing. Then we're going to talk about some retention tactics, right? What happens when somebody wants to leave? What happens when somebody wants to cancel their account? What do you do to keep them in? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly what we do, okay? And then we're gonna do some live Q and A's with the community where you guys can ask me any questions that you want and I will give you the answers right here, live, right now. So let's jump into some first topics, everybody. First topics that we're gonna have is what's new in Dash Clicks? So I wanna go over some new features that we launched and that we're about to launch inside of Dash Clicks. So, most of you guys have been asking me, you know, when a client logs into the platform, what do they see? Okay. So when a client logs into the platform, they can actually see one of two options and you can control what you want them to see. Right? So if I actually go to, and I'm in uh, a demo um, dashboard that we have, right? If I go to test company, you can actually go to your company's profile, 
right here. So let's say you have a company, it's called Bob's Plumbing, okay? You go to Bob's Plumbing, you click on Settings, you click on Company Profile. Once you come up here, there's this little beautiful ticker that's called Upsell, right? And it can either be on or it can be off, okay? Now, what's cool about DashClicks is we're all about sales and getting more sales from the current customers that you already have, right? So if this is off, what will happen is if this customer only purchased SEO from you, then they will only see the actual SEO tab right up top, right? But if they didn't purchase anything else, then they won't see anything else. Now, if I go to a new company, which is Test Company 2, which we've already set up for you guys, let me swing back over here, go to Test Company, Test Company, come on, there we go. Um, now, if I go over here and I go to Company Profile, you can see that upsell mode is on in here. Now, what's going to happen in this particular situation is your customer is going to log into the platform. Once they log into the platform, you can see that this same person bought SEO, right? Now, what, what's going to happen when they click on, let's say, let's say they go to Google Ads. Oh, boy. would you just look at that? It says, hey, Chad, unfortunately, the Google Ads service is not activated on your account. In order to activate the service, please contact your project manager at, and then there's a phone number there. That phone number is going to be your phone number, and Chad is going to be your customer's name. And then it's going to say, in the meantime, we've added some sample data as a placeholder so you can see what it would look like if you activated Google Ads on your account, right? So if I go here and I click on this, it's actually going to show them sample data of what it would look like if they actually activated their Google Ads account. And it says right here, the service is not active. The data you're viewing is just sample data. Contact your account manager, and it's going to have your phone number on there. Who thinks that that's cool? Drop a one right now. If you think it's cool when you drop in a client and they buy one service, that the system will automatically sell them other services for you. Who thinks that that's amazing? And now for those of you guys who don't want your clients to see that information, that's okay. All you got to do now is go to company profile, and you got to shut this off. Swing it off, come on. Oh, too many times, too many times. All right, well, I'm on a whiteboard. There we go, off. Now it's off. Now look what happens. Everything disappears. You see that here in the sub menu? So now when the client logs in, they will only see the services that they bought from you. But if you have upsell mode on, if I flip it back on, boom. Everything else at the top comes alive, right? And it's automatically gonna upsell your customers. So upsell, upsell, upsell. Who's upselling right now, guys? Drop a one if you're currently upselling your clients. Drop a one if you're currently upselling your current clientele. Drop a one. Drop a one. Don't make me start singing, guys. Drop a one if you're currently upselling your clients. Nobody's upselling their clients? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, that's going to bring me to my next topic. Oh, there we go. One, one, one. Always be upselling. Always be upselling, guys. Okay. New feature number two. I don't know if most of you guys have seen this. We have now what's called DashClicks University. So if you log into your dashboard and you click on University and you click on Marketer's Mindset, you will actually see that every episode that we film right here in DashClick Studios is being uploaded into the actual Marketer's Mindset platform inside of DashClicks. So you can see we have episode one that was shot on 12-17-2018. We have episode two. That was shot on 12 24 2018 and episode three is going to go right on top of that in a couple of days who has seen this before drop a one if you've seen this in the dashboard drop a two if this is new to you and you didn't even know that that was there one if you've seen this before two if this is the first time that you've seen this and you're like holy crap chad i didn't even know that this was here this is amazing two good one 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 two 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 one 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 two 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 Amazing, all right, so it looks like half of you guys didn't even know that this was here, okay? Javier says, is anyone else hearing a little bit of static? Yeah, Javier, we're actually, we ordered a boom mic for our office right now. I'm wearing a lavalier, uh, and the lavalier keeps rubbing against my shirt, so there's a little bit of static, but don't worry about that. We're upgrading, so on the next one, you won't have that problem. So sorry about any static, guys. I apologize. Leave away the static because I'm about to blow your minds with some other really cool stuff, okay? New feature number three. Product, uh, pretty much a lot of features that we've been waiting to launch for a long time is our onboarding center, okay? And what that basically is, is a center 
where your customers can create and not create can actually fill out their onboarding documents okay and the system itself will automatically notify them every single day if they don't okay and what that does is it makes our production team move faster it makes us create the campaigns and build out the campaigns and launch the campaigns faster okay and it releases the amount of time in between going back and forth and trying to collect information from the customer okay so how it's gonna work is pretty simple you're gonna go to the store you are going to go in here and you're gonna purchase let's say Google Ads you go over here and you want to add Google Ads to the cart um, I will select uh, test 2 I'll add it to a current customer okay you go in here you proceed to check out you check out right here after you actually check out there's going to be a one two three step pretty easy wizard that we're currently working on developing step number one is it's going to take you to your order confirmation page step number two step number two is it's actually going to allow you to add your clients to the dash clicks platform on the spot and it's going to be completely white labeled okay step number two step number three is you're actually going to have all of the onboarding documents an email is going to go out to these people sending them a link where they can click on the link and jump in and fill out their onboarding documents in your platform all white labeled everything is under your agency how cool do you think that that is guys how cool do you think that that is guys yes thank you Philip said will this be the same for the website exactly what I was thinking yes guys everything all services any service that a client purchases from you in the store well that you purchase for your clients excuse me through the store they're gonna get an email with onboarding documents with a link to fill out their onboarding documents live inside of the platform okay and they can go and they can fill out half of their onboarding documents and let's say if they didn't finish they can click save for later and they can come back tomorrow and fill out the rest okay and if they don't fill out the onboarding documents the system will know if it's complete or not because we're smart and we have validation inside of all of the forms so if they didn't complete all of the documents or if they're missing information the system is automatically gonna send them an email every single day every single day reminding them to fill out the onboarding documents okay guys so I think it's a pretty cool update right and that is going to be coming out hopefully around January 15th guys it's about less than two weeks away we're hoping to push that live so that's a new update that's coming out next update guys and I know I've spoken to you guys about this before and I'm gonna preach about it again because we're about three weeks away from it do me a favor guys who has purchased their agency website yet who has purchased your agency website drop a one in the chat if you've purchased your agency website yet guys drop a one in the chat drop a one in the chat if you went to the store and you've clicked on agency website and you've pre-ordered your agency website that's going to be going live on February 1st go ahead and drop a one in the chat one in the chat one in the chat Matthew says one yes Lorraine says one Philip says one guys if you have not purchased your agency website yet it is 2019 okay it's 2019 it's time to step up your game okay we're gonna actually be giving you a website it's gonna look very similar to this so this is a mock-up that we have of how the website is gonna look like okay so if you think that this is cool and you want a website just like this well guess what you can have one on February 1st okay guys you can have one on February 1st it's gonna be about a 25 page website it's gonna be fully synchronized with your dash clicks account so if you go to dash clicks and you go to here and you go to agency profile our system is automatically gonna pull all of the contact information from your agency profile it's gonna pull your branding information from your branding center inside of the dashboard and it's automatically going to inject that inside of the website template that we're gonna build for you it's gonna be a 25 page website and if you guys can see look at all of this stuff look how beautiful this works who we help and what's cool about it is you can completely customize the website exactly to how you want it you can go in and you can add new pages if you offer services that dash clicks doesn't offer you can remove services if you don't want to provide services that dash clicks offers you can change the colors images content it's all done through our easy drag and drop platform guys so look at all this look at all of the services 
all of the technology, right? So if a customer's like, oh, what happens when I purchase from you? We can say, oh, well, check it out. When you purchase from us, this is exactly what you're gonna see. You're gonna get a client dashboard, which looks exactly like this, okay? And you're gonna be able to see real-time reporting, and your reporting's gonna look like this, okay? And it's all gonna be branded under your brand, guys, okay? You can, you know, if we're doing call tracking, you can see call tracking. This is what the call tracking looks like, right? So you don't even really need to demo the platform anymore. Visitors who are coming to your website are gonna be able to see everything, guys. They're gonna be able to see everything that we offer. So if, <coughs> excuse me, if you have not purchased your agency website, we're gonna do this once again. If you purchase your agency website right now before we end this webinar, we're gonna send you out a free swag bag with some goodies, okay? We're gonna send you out a t-shirt, marketer's mindset t-shirt, okay? We're gonna send you out a bag, we're gonna send you out a mouse pad, we're gonna send you out a metal pen, we're gonna send you out all these goodies if you purchase your website before the end of the live right now, guys, okay? Do me a favor, if you go and you purchase a website, just drop in the chat, I purchased my website just now, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send you out a free swag bag, okay? Philip says, still waiting on a swag bag. Philip, we actually just had a huge batch that went out, um, I think yesterday, so yours is probably in there. All right, guys, so that's going to be coming out February 1st. So for those of you guys who are pre-purchasing your agency websites, you will get your own website on February 1st, which is in about three or four weeks away, guys. You're going to have this in your hands so that when you can go to a customer, you can make the sales, it's going to be so easy. Your conversion rate is going to be so much more higher, okay? You're going to be able to close with confidence. You're going to look like a legitimate agency, okay? So if you have not purchased your agency website, guys, all you got to do, all you got to do is go to, bam, log into your dashboard, go to store, bottom left hand side, go to agency website, go here, click add to cart, create a new company, okay. name and your email address, click add to cart and check out. Takes five minutes, not even, that's like 30 seconds, actually. Uh, Dan said, I'm going to have a fat... Roll after website, so I need a large T-shirt. <laughs> Dane, did you you purchase your website too? All the smart people who are per here we go. All right, guys. Next feature that I'm going to talk to you guys about. Who's ready for it? Who's ready for it? Drop a one if you're ready for the next feature. Show me some love, people. Let's go. Let's go. We got to keep this alive, guys. Drop a one. Drop a one. Drop a one. One 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 one. Let's go. Let's go. If you're watching the webinar and you have not dropped the one, something's wrong. Something is wrong. Drop a webinar. Don't make me pick you out. If I see you not participating, I will find you and I will shout you out and call you out. We need engagement, people. Guys, if you're not going to engage, you're not going to learn anything, okay? So engage with me. Get me ready to go. Our next feature, which is coming out hopefully on February 15th, right around there. That's our goal to hit it by is our affiliate program <coughs> it's our affiliate program so something that everybody's been asking about and it's something that you can make so much money so fast okay and I'm pretty much going to show you how it works right here right now yeah 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 all right guys who's ready for the affiliate program who first and foremost knows what an affiliate program is right who knows what an affiliate program is? It's pretty simple. You refer people to us, you make money when they buy. It's pretty simple. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you guys how our affiliate program is going to work. Okay? And we're going to make it really simple. You are going to have a link. So when you log into your dashboard, there's going to be an affiliate dashboard that we're creating, and there's going to be a unique link that we are going to give to every person who has signed up to DashClicks. They're going to get a link, okay? You give that link to 100 people, okay? You give that link to 100 people. Pretty simple. Now, most of you guys have email lists of like 5,000 people. Most of you guys are friends with people on Facebook that all know, you know, like on my Facebook page, I have like, I don't know, 2,000 people that own agencies. Right? Most of you guys are in a network with people who are like-minded. Most of you guys go to events. Some of you guys are running ads. Some of you really heavy affiliate marketers, right? So you give that link to 100 people. 
OK? And let's say out of those 100 people, 25 of those people actually create a free DashClicks account. So you're not selling them anything. You're saying, hey, check out this really cool software. It's called DashClicks. You can go in there, and you can get a free dashboard. You can get, like, like come on, like, here's a link where you can go and get a bunch of free shit. Here's a link where you can go and get a bunch of free shit. You, if, if 100 people, if you're sending this link to 100 people and those are all like-minded agencies, 100 people should be signing up. It's that simple, guys, okay? I mean, you're signed up to the platform. It's free. You saw how easy it is, right? You send them your link, okay? 25 people sign up. Our system is going to track those 25 people, okay? It's going to track those 25 people, and not only are they going to track those 25 people, but it's going to put a cookie, and it's going to actually attach their account to your dashboard. So anytime that these 25 people make any purchases from DashClicks for life, I don't think I, I don't, Carlos, I don't think they heard me. For life, okay? For life. Which means if 25 people signed up your account, if they buy anything from us, and most of the services that we sell are recurring based services because it's marketing, you guys get 5% of anything that they buy from us for life. Which means if you send 100 people a link, 5 people sign up for their free DashClicks account, anything that they purchase from DashClicks for life, you get 5% of that. Okay? We already have, we did a beta test with about three affiliates in the last three months since we opened, we already have one affiliate that's doing two grand a month. He's doing two grand a month and it's recurring and it's only gonna get better and it's gonna stack up more and more and more. Not only that, we're actually gonna track everything inside of the dashboard. So when you log into the dashboard, it's gonna show you your monthly recurring revenue of how much you're making. It's gonna give you a list of all the people that bought from you, what they bought, how they bought, how much it was, and you're gonna get an email notification every time somebody buys something that's gonna say, hey Bobby from Bobby's agency, you just made 150 bucks because this sale just happened. And all you have to do is what? Send this magical thing that's called a link to somebody to get free stuff? I mean, how easy is that? They don't have to buy, you're not selling them. It's not a hard sale, right? Eric said it can add up just like Amazon affiliate program. Yeah, it can, right? So this is our affiliate program. It's launching, we are hoping, February 15th, okay? Next topic, here we go, here we go. All right, last one on my list, and then we're gonna jump into some really good value. Um, is our customized user permissions. So a lot of you guys have clients that are accessing the dashboard. A lot of you guys might be agencies with employees and project managers inside of the dashboard. You are going to be able to set, and, to set specific roles and permissions on a per user basis. So if you want Bobby, your project manager, not be, not be able to see the store or not be able to update credit card information, you can completely do that. All you gotta do is go to Bobby's account, check it off. Okay, customized user permissions. This is gonna work wonders for those of you guys who are really in control and like to have control over everything. You're gonna be able to fully customize the way that your clients, your managers, are actually acting and what they can see inside of the DashClicks platform. Alrighty, now that we got all that crap out of the way, who's ready to roll? Who's ready for some value? Who's ready for me to show you guys how to keep customers forever? Who's ready for me to show you guys how to keep customers forever? Let me know if you're ready for that. Let me know if you're ready. Ready, 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 ready. Ready, ready, ready. Guys, who is ready? All right, guys, let's go through it. Let me get my agenda here, okay? First thing that I want to talk to you guys about is this weird thing 
in this marketing world, and it looks like this. Okay, and let's see if I can draw here. Okay, and it looks like this. And no, this is not a donut or a bagel. And there's this little thing here. And I'm a shitty drawer, but just roll with me, okay? Who knows what that is? Who knows what that is? If anybody can tell me what that is, William said it's a wheel. It's a hamster wheel. You're right, Lorraine. It's a hamster wheel. So for those of you guys who feel like you're stuck in this never-ending hamster wheel that just for some reason continues to go, and you're just stuck in a wheel, who feels like sometimes you're just stuck in a wheel, like you're doing the same thing every single day and the wheel is turning and you can't get out of this wheel and you can't scale and you can't add more clients, you're just stuck in this freaking wheel. Who feels like that? Have you ever felt like that? I felt like that for years in my business, okay? If you've ever felt like that, can you do me a favor and drop a one? Lorraine says, yep, that's how I feel. William says one. Janine says one. Damien says one. 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 Guys, it's normal and it happens. And the reason why you're stuck in a hamster wheel is because you're doing the same thing consecutively every day without any help maybe, without any systems or processes or protocols. You got clients coming in, and then you got clients coming out. And that's all that's happening. You drop in two clients here, and two clients come out two months later, and then you're back to square one again, right? Who's that happened to, right? Where you're dropping in clients and they're coming in and then they're just leaving like a month later, two months later, three months later, and you, for some reason you're like, shit, I can't retain these guys. What's going on? Who feels like that? Drop a, a, a five if that's the way that you feel. Clients are coming in and they're coming out. Coming in and they're coming out. <coughs> Drop a five if you've ever felt that way, guys. Drop a five if you felt it. Aaron Martinez says, this is a legitimate hamster wheel Chad. This live setup is dope. Thank you, Mr. Aaron. Guys, I felt like this for like the first five years of running my agency, no joke. And I'm talking about, I had maybe like 50 customers. Oh, I had 50 clients, okay? And I had 50 clients and I would just have them drop off. One would drop off, another one would drop off, another one, another one. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like fighting fighting. I'm trying to get that next client. I'm like, shit, I went from 50 to 45. I got to get five new clients. Wouldn't it be cool if you can just go from 50 to 60 and then from 60 to 70 and then from 70 to 100 and from 100 to 200 to the point where you hit hundreds of clients? Wouldn't that be awesome? Who wants to hear how to do that? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you want to hear how to do that because I'm going to teach it to you right now. You just got to show me a little bit of love. You gotta show me a little bit of love. If you're on social media, smack that love and like button. Hit the share button. Drop a yes in the chat, guys, if you're watching this. Drop a yes in the chat. If this is something that you wanna hear, do you want to hear how to completely get rid of this hamster wheel? Do you wanna know how to get rid of it forever? I think you do, right? All right, well, time to drop some knowledge. So here we go. All right, who here is, and I'm gonna draw this out, we're gonna use illustrations today, people, because I'm in a drawing and a singing mood. Who here, yeah, we got the smiley face on that one. Awesome. Who here this is you, this is your client. Who here loves their clients? Who here loves their clients? Full love, Eric said. Who here loves their clients? Who here has actually built a rapport with their clients? Who's done that? Who's actually built a rapport with their clients? Guys, let me tell you guys something. This is the Number one, number one retention strategy 
everything. This is it right here, okay? It's all about building a rapport and it's building trust and it's building a relationship with your clients, okay? And I'm gonna tell you guys something. You guys come here and you show up on this live webinar. You watch me for some of you two hours. Most of you have probably watched every single one of the live episodes. If you've watched episodes of Marketer's Mindset in the past, can you drop a one really quick? Can you drop a one in the chat? One, 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 one. And it's because why? I have a relationship with you guys. I'm building trust. I'm building value. I'm building rapport. I know most of you on a first name basis. Most of you guys are friends with me on Facebook and you follow me on Instagram. And when you write a comment, I answer. Most of you guys, when you're opening support tickets at three in the morning, who do you think jumps in to help? Daddy does. <laughs> Carlos is laughing. <laughs> Guys, build a rapport, build a relationship with your customers. This is not just a customer. It's not. It's not just a customer. This is a real life, like this is a human being, okay? This is a human being. He has feelings, okay? And how he feels towards you will change the, the, the entire relationship of your business, okay? And this is not just one person. This can be all your customers. Let's say if you have 10 customers, every single one of these people need to feel that. Every single one of your clients need to feel the love. They need to feel the support, okay? Because what do you think is gonna happen if their campaign, for some reason, might not be doing good and it happens. You know, you launch a marketing campaign and in the first 30 days it just doesn't do good. It happens, it happens to us all the time. Nobody's perfect, right? Obviously you gotta optimize and build it out, but what do you think is gonna happen? If you don't have any relationship with the customer, if you barely speak to him, if you have no relationship with him or her, if you know nothing about this person, it's going to be so easy for them to tell you, you know what, just cancel my account, I'm not interested. Just cancel it. It's not for me right now. The campaign's not working. It's not for me. But what happens if you have built a relationship with this customer and you know them on a first name basis? and you speak to them all the time, and you're friends with them on Facebook, and you email them happy holidays when it's the holidays, and you email them happy new years when it's the new year. And when you call them, you speak about how your vacations was, and how your kids are doing. Now if his campaign doesn't do good in the first 30 days, he's probably not gonna tell you to just cancel. He's gonna let you speak and figure out a solution so you can actually help him as a customer. Okay guys? So build a connection and build a rapport with your customers. This is the number one way to actually retain them and have this person pay you forever, okay? When I opened my agency, social agency, okay? Ten, almost 10 years ago, we're about to hit 10 years, okay? I have my first customer, my first customer that I signed up for SEO and website maintenance, I have my first customer is still with us till today, okay? He was actually here in our office last week, brought a, brought a bottle of uh, champagne over, sat with me for a couple minutes, asked me how my new child was doing, spoke to him about how his wife was doing, his, her, his wife was sick in the hospital. You know, sit down and actually have a real life conversation because this is what brings the value, okay? This is how you make money. It's about the people you know and how you treat them, okay? If you guys agree with me, can you just drop a one? Can you drop a one if this is something that you think would maybe help your business, right? Just drop a one if you think that it will help your business. One, 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 one. Guys, this is real life shit right here, okay? If you're treating your customers like garbage, you don't speak to them, you never call them, you don't wish them happy holidays, happy birthdays, don't ask them how their kids are doing, you got no relationship, they're gonna cancel, okay? The only thing that is holding you tied into them is purely results. And if for some reason you're not delivering, they're gonna cut you. I've had so many companies that I personally work with and we didn't deliver them results within the first month or two. And like I said, it happens, guys, right? But they stay. And it's because I speak to them and it's because they know me on a first name basis and I speak to them every single time that they call in. I take their phone call. I take the time out of my day, okay? Damien says, this is real. It is, okay? 
It's not all about results. It's about building a relationship with the customer. All right, next thing. Who's ready for the next thing? Drop a five if you're ready. Drop a five. Ready? 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 Okay. Who knows what to write in here? Let's go. Who knows what to write in here? I cannot tell you guys how valuable this statement is. You know what? I, I speak to a lot of people inside of Dashclicks, and their whole thing, you know, their whole thing is like, how many leads can you generate me on a monthly basis? Do you think if the client spends two hundred dollars, we can generate him a thousand five hundred leads? No. And don't tell your client that stuff either, because what you're doing is you're messing this whole thing up. Be realistic. Set realistic goals. Set realistic expectations so that way when you hit those goals, you can go to your customer and say, hey, we fit your goal and this is the next goal that we want to reach to. This is our next objective. Okay? I see so many people, so many agencies over delivering, or excuse me, not over delivering, over promising and under delivering. Okay? They are over, they're doing the complete opposite of this. They're saying, I'm going to get you a thousand leads for 200 bucks. And then they run the campaign, they get them 20 leads. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Guys, what do you think is going to happen? Tell me what you think is going to happen if that happens. Go ahead. Tell me what you think is going to happen if you overpromise. Bye bye. Leave. Fired. Quit. You guys are 100% on point. And just think about it. It's real life psychology, right? It's just, it's real life, okay? What happens if you go into, I don't know, let's use an example. Let's use an example. I don't even know what example to use, but just stop doing it, okay? Guys, you need to set proper expectations, okay? If, and if you need help with that, just jump into Dash Clicks and we'll help you guys set somewhat of realistic expectations, okay? Because if you can set realistic expectations, then you're able to hit the goals, okay? If you set unrealistic expectations, it's going to be impossible for you to hit any goals. It's just that simple, guys, okay? So set realistic expectations. Ways that you can do this. Who wants to know how to set realistic expectations? <laughs> Who wants to know how to set realistic expectations with customers? That's something that you guys want to know? Something that you guys want to hear about? Mm, maybe. Cool. You can do the research, and this is what we do here at Dashclicks. So let's say you're running a Google Ads campaign, okay, and you're trying to sell somebody in a Google Ads campaign. There's this cool thing called keyword research. Keyword research. You can do keyword research. It's called uh, the Google Keyword Planner tool. So if you're running a Google Ads campaign, if you're trying to sell a solar company on Google AdWords, you can literally go, I'm not going to do a demo on this right now, but these are some of the tactics that we use. You can literally go inside of the Google Keyword Planner tool, it's free, okay? And you can actually type in the words, drop them in there, and there's tons of tutorials on how to use Google Keyword Planner tool, we're not going to get into that now. And you can drop in, say, solar, uh, solar company, solar companies, um, local solar company, whatever it is, you can drop in different keywords that they want to rank for, okay? And Google will actually tell you what the average cost per click is of that keyword. It'll tell you. It might be $20 a click for that keyword. Okay? That's what your expectation should be. And you know what we do, guys? <coughs> Sometimes we'll do the keyword research and we'll export the PDF because you can actually drop, you can export right in here inside of the Google Keyword Tool. You can export it in an Excel document. And we bring it to the customer and we're like, hey, Google says that it's $20 a click average for these keywords. We can probably do better than that over time because we'll be able to optimize your campaign and bring down your cost per click 
which will eventually bring up your CPA, your cost per acquisition, or most of you guys like to say CPL, cost per lead, whatever terminology that you decide that you want to use, it's really the same thing. Now don't you think if 30 days goes by and the guy's cost per click is $19, or actually $22, let's say, it's a little bit over, you think he's going to get mad? No, he's not going to get mad because you told him up front that it was going to be an average of 20 bucks, and we're going to work on getting it down. Okay, I don't know if you guys, most of you guys know this, but in marketing, the first 30 days of a campaign is usually the worst 30 days. Does anybody know why the first 30 days of a brand new marketing campaign is usually the worst? Not optimized. Optimization. Yeah, guys. You're starting a brand new campaign. These are brand new ads, brand new keywords. It's a brand new campaign. So what's going to happen is you run the campaign for 30 days. Okay. Actually, let me open up a new sheet here. I'll tell you guys how we do it. Shit. Let's just go into that. Let's go into real life stats. This is our process, what we do here at DashClicks. Who wants to know how we optimize campaigns at DashClicks? You got to put your hand up. It's okay. Don't be scared. Put that little hand up. Drop a one. Put the hand up. If you're on social media, hit the like button. Let's go. I'm watching you people on Facebook. I'm watching you here on Instagram. We got Instagram here. We got Facebook. We got um, Zoom. We're live on three different places. Jeremy says, Facebook algorithm needs to time to work. That's correct. If we're running a Facebook campaign, that is 100% correct. This is what we do. We launch a campaign. Boom. And I'm going to try to draw something here. We launch a campaign, and this is not going to look good. Okay. It's a rocket. Okay. We launch a campaign. It's not something else. Okay. We launch a campaign. We let the campaign run for one week. Because we need to collect data. Okay. We let the campaign run for one week. We start collecting some data, and we, see, we start seeing some trends. We start seeing that. You know, if we're running a Facebook campaign as an example, <coughs> we start seeing that some age groups are not working properly, or not converting properly, or we're getting a really high CPL or high cost per click. We see that some of the demographics that we're going after are not converting properly, or are also getting a high cost per click. We go in here, and we optimize the campaign. Okay, I don't know what this means. It looks like a Cinnabon, but we optimize the campaign. Okay? Then we let the campaign run again for another week. What do you think we do, guys? Who's going to guess? Who's going to guess what we do one week later? Go ahead, drop it in the comments. What do you think we're going to do a week later? Eric says scale. Philip says same thing. What do you think we're going to do next week? Come on, guys. What do you think is going to happen? Janine says tweak. Whatever. Optimize. Okay? We're going to optimize the campaign again. Because we're going to realize again that it ran. Now that we started cutting off the crop that was here that wasn't working, we're running. Again, we're optimizing the campaign. Okay? And we're optimizing the campaign and it's going to get better. Now, what do you think is going to happen if we keep doing this week over week? Week one, optimize. Week two, optimize three four okay and this is a never-ending cycle it just keeps happening okay we keep optimizing rinse and repeat right obviously with strategy we're not just randomly you know rinsing and repeating what do you think is going to happen after at least 30 days you're gonna have a pretty sweet campaign running okay then you can run Lookalike audiences and remarketing audiences and campaigns and a lot of really cool stuff, okay? But guys, the reason why I'm telling you this is because these 30 days should not be the 30 days that the client judges your work. They should judge your work after these 30 days, okay? So I'm setting proper expectations. So one of the analogies that I use when I'm making sales to a customer is running an advertising campaign is like wine. It just keeps getting better over time, right? So 
it's just easy to understand. So as you're optimizing these campaigns, or as we're optimizing these campaigns, if you're using dash clicks for your fulfillment, which you should be, the first 30 days are crap. It just gets better and better and better. Okay, guys? So, you know, we had some customers that came into Dash Clicks, ran a campaign, and a week later canceled. It's like the campaign ran for one week. What are you, like, what, how can you gauge an entire build out after running a campaign for letting it run for like four or five days? You can't. It's impossible. You need to let the campaign run a little bit to start generating some data. Okay, guys? So th first 30 days is the most important time for the campaign, okay? So when we're selling paid ads or we're selling SEO or selling anything like that, we usually try to get the customer for a three-month contract, and we try to explain the customer, if not three or six months, and explain to the customer that the first 30 days is always going to be the worst. I just want to let you know that ahead of time. First 30 days is going to be the worst. That's going to get better in month two and better month three, and better month four, and five, and six, and then we're going to start creating other really cool stuff and offering you more services on top of that, right? So it's really important that you guys focus on setting proper expectations, okay? And under-promising and over-delivering. Does everybody make, does that make sense to everybody? Can you drop 157 if that makes sense to you? I'm throwing out random numbers here. Drop 157 if that makes sense. It makes, I mean, just think about it. If you were paying, it, I mean, it makes sense, right, guys? So it makes sense to everybody else. Aaron says, optimize that bit. Can't say the word because we're live. Yes, you guys are 100% right. And I'm just reading through the comments here. You're 100% right. Okay, guys? 100% right. Next one was setting realistic goals and expectations, which I think we pretty much dabbled into a little bit, too right set proper goals and set proper expectations with customers here's a big one who's ready for it probably the biggest one of all who's ready for it who's ready for it <laughs> Eric's already dropping in a one we're not using one this time guys we're using 700 757 drop a 757 if you're ready for the next one that's how I know you're engaged because if you're dropping in a one you're just sitting there with one Hit and enter, okay? I need to make sure you're with me here. 757. Every time I say something, Eric just drops a one. <laughs> I didn't even speak it, he's dropping a one. <laughs> 757. If you think that you're ready for this next one. Transparency. Transparency. Transparency with your customers, guys. Being transparent, transparency, okay? Being transparent with all of your customers. I see so many people that are managing all of their customers and they're not being transparent with them. They're not letting them know what's going on with their accounts. They're not speaking to them multiple times a month. They're just not on the same page. They're not being transparent with them, right? So if you as a consumer were going to somewhere and you were buying something, wouldn't you want that person to be transparent with you, right? Let's use, it as, let's use an example, okay? If you went to go buy a brand new car and you, want, you stepped foot in a dealer, wouldn't you, want that per, wouldn't you want to see like the car fax report of the car? Wouldn't you want to take a test drive of the car? Wouldn't you want to look inside and out? Right? Wouldn't you want to know all of these things before you buy that car? Or even if you did buy that car, wouldn't you, wouldn't you feel comfortable if you just knew all of those things? Right? And it's that sales rep's job to be transparent with you to either one, have a better sale, or two, retain you as a customer. Right? So some of the transparency tactics that we use is weekly phone calls. Shit, I have my team on my retail department at Social Agency every week. Okay? Every week. Jump on a phone. Phone call, 15 minutes. Hey, how you doing today, Bobby? Just want to let you know we, uh, these are some of the things we did to your account today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send you out a notification feed inside of the dashboard. We're going to shoot you fire over an email with what we did, let you know what we did. Same thing if they would buy something online and start wondering when it arrives. Exactly right, Eric. That's one thing that you can do. Phone calls. Believe me, guys, that phone call alleviates 
every single piece of tension and transparency that there can possibly be. Jumping on a phone call with the customer once a week is probably the best thing that you can do for your customer. Let them know what's going on. Because guess what, guys? Let's say you run a campaign. Boom! You launch a campaign. Campaign launches. Day one. You spoke to the customer, you get them all excited, you made the sale, they signed the contract, they deposited money, they went, they, you sent them a Stripe invoice, you billed them two grand, you launch a campaign, day one happens, boom. I've seen this before, guys, and if you think I'm crazy, I've seen this before. Then there's silence. Silence for 30 days. What do you think that this customer is thinking during this process? He's probably like, what the hell is going on? I just gave this guy two grand, and I don't even know what's happening with my account. So being transparent with the customer, one, showing them what's happening with their account, giving them an overview on a weekly basis of how the campaigns are performing, and what your goals are to do better if the campaign is not performing. Think about that. Let's say you launch a campaign, boom, 30 days go by. Customer doesn't hear from you. 30 days go by and his campaign is not doing good for some reason. Apparent reason the campaign is not doing good. He's just going to call you and be like, hey, cancel my account. My campaign is not doing good. I'm not seeing the ROI. But if you speak to him four times, once a week before that 30 days hits, and every single week you're like, hey, your campaign's not doing so great, but we're working on optimizing it. Here, hey, your campaign's doing a little bit better. We went from $5 a lead to $3.50 a lead. Here, Went from $3.50 a lead to $3 a lead. Boom. You're going down, right? You're explaining to them and you're letting them know what's happening throughout the process. So when you get here, when that monthly report comes, which is the next thing that you should be doing, which Dashflix does for you, um, you just send them the monthly report and go over it. It's like a 10 or 15 minute call. You say, hey, by the way, just want to give you an overview of what's been going on the last 30 days. Um, for us, we do reporting usually within the first week of the month and we report 30 days back. Right? So we just hit January 3rd, right? We would go one month back, so we would go in December, and we would run a report from December 1st to the end of December, whenever, whatever day that was. <coughs> and we would go and we would write a report, and we would go over it with the customer, okay? Transparency with the customer is huge. Please be transparent with your customers because this is how you keep them forever, okay? So do this, do this. It takes 15 minutes. Boom. Sometimes we jump on calls and it's like a two minute phone call. Okay, the guy's like, hey, I don't have time, just let me know what's going on. Boom, we're getting this, we're getting this, we're getting this. We did this, we did this, we did this. I'm gonna fire you over a quick email, just give you a little overview and let you know what's going on. Done. Lorraine says the client feels updated and comfortable about what's going on, they'll be more understanding. 100%. Eric says, same thing, if we buy something online, or well, sorry, Dashclick's dashboard gets rid of that for us. Transparency issues are awesome. 100% guys, okay? So perfect example, if you're using Dashflix and you got your customers in Dashflix, okay? Your client can log into Dashflix and literally see everything that's going on with their campaign, okay? They can log in and they can see all the stats. And they can log in 24 seven, this is all in real time. They can check out anything that they want. On any service that they purchase from you, they can just log in and check this out anytime that they want. Who thinks that that's cool? Can you drop a 343 if you think that that's awesome? 343 if you think that that's awesome. Are you guys doing this right now? Are you guys doing this right now? First, drop a yes if you're doing this right now with your customers. Or be honest and drop a no, and I'm going to start doing this with my customers. Good. Some of you said no. Eric said Dashclicks is full transparency compliant. Yes. We are 100%. And that's the only way to keep the customers. That's why we do it. It's the whole point of creating the Dashclicks platform in the first place. Customer can log in and see everything about their account. It's, it's like a beautiful thing, 24-7, whenever they want. Three in the morning, they can log in, check out what's going on with their ads without even speaking to you. Those of you in Dashclicks might be even saving those 15-minute phone calls a week. You might be doing them once every two weeks, but you can do that too. That's cool. You know, it all depends on how your clients are. All right, next one. Who's ready for the next one? Who is ready for the next one? 783, if you're ready for the next one. Drop it in there. Let's go. 783, 783, 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm reading some of these comments instead of uh, Facebook, and it's making me laugh a little bit. 783. Boom, boom, boom. 783. All right, guys. I forgot what I was going to say. Prove your work. Prove your work. Prove it. Prove it. How many of you guys are proving your work? Come on. How many of you guys are proving your work to your customers? Prove your work. How many of you guys are doing this to your customers? I'm not talking about case studies. <coughs> How many of you guys are proving your work? One person said, hey, you mentioned free visibility reports in the first webinar to gain a customer. Uh, how do we get those? Um, there's tons of tools online. We're actually building a couple, um, which I'm not really supposed to say. Carl's probably going to get mad at me. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can use some reporting softwares to go and scrape a website and tell them what's wrong with it. Prove your work. Let's say you do something. You know, our team, they'll go out and they'll spend three hours on optimizing a Facebook campaign. I'm just going to give you an example. Okay? They can only spend three hours. And then, let's just say you don't notify the customer. You do it again next week, you spend another three hours. Okay? And then you do it again next week, you spend another three hours. And 30 days goes by, and you spend 10 hours, as an example, optimizing the client's Facebook campaign. But you didn't speak to them for 30 days. The client's not going to know that you worked 10 hours. Prove the work that you did. Okay, and we do that through our activity feed. So inside of our actual Dash Clicks platform, every time our team touches an account, they go into the activity feed and they submit exactly what they did in the task that was done, and the client gets a white labeled email notification letting them know exactly what was done. Sometimes they'll get three or four emails a day, sometimes they'll get three or four in a week, but at least they know every time their, their campaign is being touched. Boom, check mark here. Boom, this was done here. Boom, we did this today. Boom, we're going to be doing this. Boom, we did this. Hey, hey, wouldn't it be cool? Like, if you were, like, look at Amazon as an example. Look at Uber Eats as an example. You know why I order Uber Eats and I love Uber Eats? Because when I order, I can watch that freaking car drive to my house. How cool is that? You can literally track and you can literally watch the car drive all the way up to your house. Okay? People like that. People like to know what's going on. Okay? Prove the work that you're doing. Be like Uber, be like Amazon, be transparent with your customers. Prove it. You're doing the work already. Just prove it. Okay? And if you're using Dash Clicks, we'll prove that shit for you. So don't even worry about it. Just drop them into Dash Clicks. We'll prove it for you. No problem. No problem. Does anybody agree with me? 393 if you agree with me. Damien said accountability. Yeah, 100%. Who agrees with me? Who agrees with me? We're going to go into the next one. Three ninety three, if you agree. Three hundred and ninety three. Three ninety three. Okay. Ooh. Now we're getting into a scary topic here. Who's ready for it? Who's ever actually opened a report? and went over the raw numbers and metrics with your client before without being scared, even if the campaign is doing completely horrible. Who's ever done this? Drop a yes if you've done this before. If you've actually taken the raw numbers from a campaign and have shown them to your customers. Who's done this before? Nobody's done it before? Looks like I'm in the right crowd here. I'm about to teach you guys something. What do you think this does? What do you think all this does? What do you think these things are here? All these KPIs and metrics? Guys, these are the raw numbers. This is what your client should be seeing because they're spending their hard-earned money running a campaign with you guys. They need to know exactly what's going on, okay? And if something's not working good, it's okay. It can be fixed. We can optimize it. We can make it better. But if a campaign is not doing good, let the customer know that it's not doing good and tell them why it's not doing good. That's what we did. 
I mean, we had a campaign that we launched, I think, like a month ago. Okay, we launched a campaign, and the website was not converting. We were sending, we were running Facebook ads, and we were getting clicks for like 50 cents. Boom. Sending tons of clicks to the website. Zero sales. Two weeks later, zero sales. It's not good, right? So what do you think we did? We installed video tracking on the actual website using Hotjar. Okay? We recorded screen sessions of people on the actual website. We zipped up like 100 different screen sessions of people moving and doing stuff on the website. We zipped it up in a file. We sent it over. And we said, hey, it's not the campaign that's not performing. It's your website. And I did some screen recordings of people going on your website, moving around on the website. And you can see exactly what's happening. It's not converting. We're getting people who are interested to your website, which is our job, but your website is not converting them. It's not actually making the sales. And this is why. So if we want to make the campaign better, let's make some quick adjustments to your website. We can see here that the shopping cart button is not on the main menu. Okay? We can see here that for some reason the description is overlaying on top of your image. Okay? I can see here that this one person tried to check out and use a coupon code and that coupon code is invalid. Okay, there's so many different reasons why. So if you take the time out of your day to find that out, which we do for you at Dash Clicks, then you can actually go to your customer and say, yeah, we know your campaign's not performing well. We already know that. But this is what we're going to do to fix it. Okay? So you need to find a solution to the actual problem. If you can't find the solutions to the problem, then your customers are just going to cancel. You're just wasting time. Okay? You're wasting your time. Does everybody agree with me on that? Does that make any sense to you guys? Okay? Can you drop a 933 if that, you know, if that makes sense? Carlos, you know what I'm going to do? I think at the end of this, I'm going to give away a swag bag to whoever can add up all the numbers <laughs> that they're dropping in. Some of them are already going to start with their calculator. You can get the calculator out and start calculating. No, guys, for real. Like, I, I mean, it makes sense, right? I'm, I'm, not the only, I'm not the crazy one here, right? It makes sense that if your customer is paying for something, they kind of want to know what's going on. They want to be in the loop, right? I mean, it makes sense, okay? Give them the raw numbers. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, okay? It's marketing, guys. You got to be transparent. You got to be open with your customers. You're taking people's hard-earned money. You need to make sure that if the campaign's not running well, you tell them why it's not and you fix it, man. Okay? You tell them why and you fix it. Next one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What I got next on my list? Oh. All right. Um, who's ready for the drawing game? Who's ready for the drawing game? Who knows what this is? Who knows what that is? Philip said it's a riot. It's a road. It's a road. Okay, it's a road. Who knows what that is? Who knows what that is? I know I'm not the best drawer, but who knows what that is? This is your competitors, and this is you. Guys, you need to make sure, especially in this marketing industry, where shit is changing daily, weekly, yearly, you need to always make sure that you are ahead of the game. You need to make sure that you are at the end of the road, driving past everybody, wiping through your competitors, okay? And how do you do that? How do you always have that forward momentum? How do you know what's changing in the industry? Because there's things that are like, for every service, there's shit changing every day. There's stuff changing every single day for some services, right? How many algorithm updates does Google do on a yearly basis? That messes up the entire SEO campaign, right? So once you were running an SEO campaign last week and now all of the things that you were doing last week don't work anymore. You gotta rechange up your strategy. Uh-oh. What about Facebook? 
launching new policies and updates of certain industries they can't run ads anymore for, and you are already running ads for that person. What are you going to do now? Right? Stuff is always changing, guys. We are in 2019. It's always changing. It's going to continue changing. It's only going to get faster. Okay? You need to make sure that you're flying by your competitors. Okay? And you know what? I'm happy for you guys because you're in the right place. You're in Dash Clicks. So our team knows everything that's happening in the industry, guys. We do all the research for you. So every time something changes, boom, Google launches an algorithm update. We already know about that like a month. We knew that that was happening last month. We read tons of articles about it. We knew it was coming. We already changed our whole strategy. So when that shit launched that day, when they launched that algorithm update, <laughs> our whole team was already changed. All the tasks in the system, everything was already changed. We know. We know it's happening. Right? When Facebook is launching a new update mm, a month from now, changing the policies on running campaigns for certain industries, we know it's happening. We go back to those industries and restructure a new campaign for them or a new strategy. Right? Always be ahead of the game. Always, guys. That's how you make it in life. You always stay ahead of your competition. Stay ahead of the game. Okay, guys? Our team is fully aware of what's happening in this industry. Okay? We know every single in and out. Okay? Not only that, but these trainings that I'm doing for you guys, Carl, let's hit the GoPro really quick. Guys, these trainings that I'm doing for you guys, I don't do it just for you guys. Okay? I do it for my team too. I'll bring a whole department here. I'll bring all the people in the Facebook department and I'll line them up right here in front of me. If you guys have seen me on Instagram, you've seen sometimes I went live, I've done some, you know, I've showed you guys behind the scenes of what's going on in the agency. I bring my whole Facebook department in here. I'll bring my team leaders in here. Okay? I'll bring everybody in here in one room and I'll say, this is what's going on with Facebook, guys. This is what's happening. These are all the new updates that are happening and this is the things that we need to do to fix it. Okay? And I'll get my operations manager to redo the task system to make sure that we're following up with the new protocols and the new updates. I know Google's launching a new algorithm update in two and a half months. I'll get my entire Facebook team in here. I'll get my content writers in here. I'll get my web developers in here. And I'll say, hey guys, using meta keywords inside of your SEO campaigns doesn't work anymore. We shouldn't be using it or wasting our time on it. We should be focusing on doing schema markup. We should be focusing on writing good quality content, right? Guys, stay ahead of the game. That's how you win, okay? You have to always be on top, okay? So I do this every single day. Home, I don't just sit and watch TV, honestly, guys. I watch YouTube videos. I read articles on, you know, all these big platforms. You know, Social Media Examiner um, is a good one. You know, all, all, whatever, all the Amaz, right? They have all these, you know, updates and blogs and stuff that's happening in the industries. Read up, know what's going on. Because when your customer asks you a question, you'll be able to know how to answer them, okay? And you can give them a knowledgeable answer and that's how you keep your customers, okay guys? Does anybody agree with me? Drop a 933 if you agree with me. 933 if you agree with me. All right, let's go PMP. Oh, this is a big one, some of you might cry. Some of you babies out there might cry about this one. I don't, I don't know if you're ready. I'm not sure if you're ready. <sighs> okay, here we go. Any your customers ever give you some feedback? Anybody out there? Any of your customers ever give you feedback? on a campaign that you're running, on some on a graphic that you did, on a website that you built. Right? You go out and you build the website and you give it to your customers. Your customer's like, no, I don't like that. I don't like that website. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> um, guys, feedback is like the number one thing that you should be taking in. Okay? Um, you ever hear that term that customers are always right? I know it's really hard to let that sink in. Okay? Let that sink in, guys. But you should really be looking at the feedback that your customers are giving you so you can be successful, okay? If you're building websites for your customers and the customers are telling you that you don't, they don't like the websites that you're building, maybe you shouldn't be building the websites for them. Maybe you should be outsourcing it. Get a better developer to build the websites so you can have a better quality product and make more money, okay? If you're running SEO campaigns 
and you're not ranking for clients and your clients are coming back to you six months later and like hey it's been six months we're not ranking um, you know I'm not happy with the service and you're you know you're arguing with them you're like yeah but it takes time it takes like 40 years to get your website ranked on the first spot right guys listen to the feedback sometimes they're right right so we have a thing that we do in our office where all of the feedback that we get shit I think we did it the other day Carlos I think like a month ago um, we were opening the room we were opening up marketers mindset and uh, we sent out an email to everybody and we're like hey guys um, can you give us some feedback on some interesting topics that you'd want to learn about if you got that email and you responded can you drop a 300 in the chat if you got that email and you responded to us can you drop a 300 in that chat some of you guys responded to that what do you think we did 300 300 Eric said 300 William said 300 Damien said 300 guys we took your feedback okay we, we grabbed like 300 400 people left their feedback we took all that feedback we aggregated it and input it into an Excel file we what we cleaned it up because some of you guys did the same thing right case studies over and over and over right we, we, we took all that information we filtered it out we organized it based on priority and we started at the top and we're working our way down because it's what you guys want to know right so get feedback from your customers and understand what's wrong with their campaign order for you to make it better okay if your customers are telling you that their target demographic is men, you think it's females and you're fighting with them don't fight with them split test it and prove to them that it's females listen to the feedback and gain that knowledge guys okay very very important does everybody agree with me on this everybody agree with me on this yeah right I mean it's simple right yeah, 100%. Okay, one more. How often do you guys, um, I know we spoke about this um, previously, but this is what we do with our agency, okay? It's mandatory that everybody, depending on the customer, okay, get one phone call a week. You know, ends up being five or 15 minute call. Five or 15 minute call. It's mandatory because we know that it helps. We know that it builds a rapport. Um, we know that it builds trust, builds loyalty. Customer understands what's going on with their campaign. Customer is aware of the changes that we've been making to their campaign. They know that we're working, right? We do that once a week. We might have some customers where, you know, they don't really need it maybe once a week. So you do it once. You do that every two weeks. Every two do one call. You do it every two weeks. Okay? You should be doing at least one or the other. Preferably the call every week. If you're speaking to your customer every week for a couple minutes, guys, a couple little minutes, you will see a huge change within your agency. Okay? Now, for those of you guys who don't have customers yet, that's fine, but you should still be laying this out in your internal protocol of what you're going to do when you bring on your first customer and how you're going to call them and build it into your schedule like for us we have a project management system and the account managers have a task inside of the project management once a week to call the client and give them an update and they don't just give them an update they give them an update on the report they give them an update on the progress they show them the task that's been done they let them know what's been happening with their account they show them good results if there's good results they show them bad results if there's bad results and a solution on how to fix it right it's a quick phone call. It might sound like a lot, but it's really not. You just look at a report and you say, hey, this is you know, going good, this is going bad, right? So that's really all you need to do to keep your customers. Really simple, okay? Does everybody agree with me? 394. Drop it in the chat if you agree with me. Drop it in the chat if you agree with me. Drop it in the chat. Drop, 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 dribbity, drop, drop. Drop it in the chat. 394. 394. 394. Good, good, amazing, amazing people, amazing. Yeah, all right, here we go. Retention topics. Customer comes in, they're like, well, Bobby, it's been 30 days, and uh, you didn't get me my 30 cent lead, so now I wanna cancel. Well, because, we're not even gonna get into that, but it's because of probably what you told Bobby ahead of time. You should've told Bobby leads, we're gonna call some 20 bucks. He'd been more realistic. All right, customers like, mm, mm, want to cancel my account? Don't think it's doing good. 
what are some of the things that you can do to retain a customer once he's at the boiling point, which is cancellation? Once they want to cancel their account, all right, whatever, cancel, boom. Once they want to cancel their account, what do you do? What do you do? Who wants to hear what we do when a customer calls and they're like, I want to cancel my account? Who wants to hear that? Yes. Those of you on social media, hit the like button. By the way, guys, if you're watching this now and you're on social media, um, hashtag live. If you're watching this live, hashtag replay if you're watching the replay. If you are more than kind to me, I'll be more than kind to you back to just hit that little like button, hit the love button, hit the share button, engage, leave a couple comments, say this is awesome, Chad, so I get excited the next time I do this, right? Everybody says yes, right? Guys, here's the first thing. Sometimes it has to do with price. It has to do with price. You sold the customer A, B, and C for two grand a month. Now he's coming back to you and he's like, man, it's too expensive. I just can't afford it. That's probably the number one retention issue that um, we've experienced over the years. It's too high. Price is too high. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't pay you anymore. Bye. Hasta la vista. Guys, solution to the problem is just drop your price. Knock off a couple hundred bucks a month. You'll still make a profit and you'll get to keep that customer long term, right? So if they're paying you 2K a month, we'll say, Bobby, you know what? I see that you're struggling with the price. Maybe you don't see the ROI right now, Bobby. But you know what, Bobby? We really, I really enjoy working with you and I really think that we can help your campaign. So what I'm willing to do is take a hit on my end and maybe not be profitable for the next couple of months to keep you as a client to show you that we can actually help you with your agency. So what I'm going to do, Bobby, is I'm going to drop your price to $1,500 a month, okay? $1,500 a month, Bobby. Does Dash Glitz drop prices when that happens? No, we don't drop prices, and it's because we're already priced so cheap. Yeah, I'm talking about a retail side, guys. This is you for your agency, okay? What you have to do, drop the price a little bit. Yeah, it's called a downsell. That's correct. Nico, that's right. Drop the price. Don't be scared. Drop the price a little bit. Okay? You know how many times we've saved customers just by dropping the price a little bit? Drop the price a couple hundred bucks, hundred bucks. Sometimes we drop the, like sometimes we, 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 we charge a customer a thousand bucks a month. We drop a hundred dollars off, 10%. And we're still profitable, right? Maybe might not make an extra hundred bucks a month, but guess what? You get to keep the 500 bucks, whatever it is, your margins are, right? You get to keep that every single month. Works like a charm. Drop the price. Okay? Number two. Be smart about it and throw in a free service. 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 Throw in a free service. Okay? Awesome free service to throw in is directories. Really cheap. Okay? You guys in Dash Clicks pay 99 bucks a month for directories. So using that same example as last time, if a customer is paying you 2k a month, instead of dropping them to 1500 bucks a month, right? Instead of doing this, just do this instead. Because there's more value in the 99 bucks. That's right, Nico, said add value. Boom. Just throw this in. This costs you 99 bucks a month. Instead of dropping 500 bucks a month here, just pay the $99 and drop them in here and say that it's a $400 or $500 value, whatever it is that you guys are charging them, right? Just give them an option. Say, you know what, Bobby? I'm really, I'm really sorry that the campaign's not going the way that you want it to. I'm sorry that we're not getting you 16 cent leads at, for your roofing company where you make 30 grand for every lead. I'm really sorry about that. You know what we're going to do? We're going to throw in a free listings manager program. We're going to get you listed into 70 directories. And Bobby, I'm going to do it on the house for you. I'm going to do it on the house for you, Bobby. Okay? Because you're such a valuable customer and we love you. Okay? I'm going to throw in this free service. Free service. People love free stuff. Okay? People love free stuff. Oh, here's a good one. Some of you guys might get scared from this one, so I don't even know if I should say it, but shit, I'm going to say it anyways. 
who can guess what number three is? If you can guess what number three is, I'm throwing a, I'm sending you a swag bag. Guess what number three is? If you can guess, I'll send you a swag bag. Oh, Janine, got it. Carl, can you write that down? Janine, what's your agency name? Agency Lane. Shirt size, Janine? Guys, free month. Medium. Janine, we're going to send you a swag bag. Thank you for being smart and joining us today and learning and educating. We appreciate it. Free month. Some of you guys have been charging your customers 2K a month. $2,000 a month for services, and it's been like six months already, right? You've been charging them for six whole months. And if you actually are smart and you do the math on this, you know, if you're using Dash Clicks, you might be running a Facebook campaign for somebody, and you might be paying Dash Clicks $4.99 a month to run a Facebook campaign for you, okay? Which means you're profiting $1,500 a month. That's your profit, okay? You've been doing that for six months straight. Six months straight. What's six times 1,500? Who can do the math for me? Six times 1,500. How much is that? Around nine. Six times 1,500, how much is that? Is that 9,000, is that what it is? 9,000, right? Carlos is holding his hands out. I know what it is. I'm just engagement, doing a little engagement. Nine grand. You made nine grand. Nine grand profit. Nine grand. Cha ching. Made nine grand profit off six months. You go buy yourself a car. Nine grand. Okay? It says, what pricing, what service are you pricing for 2K as an example? Um, easy. We have tons of people inside of Dash Clicks um, selling uh, our basic Facebook ads program at $499, charging their customers two grand a month for it. All the time. I get that all day. So that's pretty much how to do it. Um, nine grand. Nine grand. It says your services are marked up 50%. Not accurate. Um, that's correct. Our services are marked up 50%. That's what our suggested retail rate is. However, you can sell your services for whatever you'd like. So you don't need to sell it for 50% above that. You can sell it for way more than that, which most of the agencies inside the platform are already doing. Right? So let's continue. Let's say $9,000 that you made. Would it hurt them for you to pay Dash Clicks another $4.99 to possibly retain this customer? It's a question. It's a question. Would you do that? Let's, let's get the elephant out of the box. William says yes. If you would do that, put a yes in. If you would possibly take a $500 gamble to maybe make another nine grand. Would you do that? All day. Yes, sir, Damien said. Janine said yes. Matthew said all day. It's an option. I'm not saying that you have to do it. It's an option. We've done it before in our retail agency in the past. And you'd be surprised. We give a customer a free month, give them you know, $500 value, free month. They stay with us for like another three years. Okay? It happens, guys. Okay? So this is worth it to do sometimes. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Who can guess what the next one is? Number four. If you can guess what it is, I'll give you a free swag bag right now. If you can guess what number four is, I'll send you out a free swag bag. What do you think number four is, guys? What other retention method can you do to keep your customer in? What other retention method can you do to keep your customer in? Referral, 50% off. Nope. Keep going, guys. Give you a couple seconds to answer. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Paper leads. Nope. Sponsor an event. Gift bags. Nope. These are all pretty cool ideas, but not the one I got on my list. Let them try it on their own, Matthew said. Nope. 
All right, nobody's going to get the present here. Nobody's going to get their little goodie bag. Give other service. Nope. All right, guys, too late. Restructure. Say, you know what, Bobby? Your campaign might not be performing the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my entire team in my office right now. We're going to have a team meeting about your campaign, and we're restructuring your entire campaign. And I'm going to lose money on this, Bobby, but I don't care because I want your campaign to perform. And you should really do this. You should really restructure the campaign. Okay? Restructure the entire campaign. Create a new funnel. Bust out new Facebook ads. Come up with ideas for videos where videos can get shot. Upload new videos. New ad copy. Right? Restructure the entire campaign. Don't do the same thing over and over and over. Restructure. We do it all the time at Dashclicks. Okay? Usually every month we're swapping out new stuff, creating new offers and ads and ad copy and split testing and optimizing it. Guys, restructure. Restructure the whole campaign. It's so easy. Restructure. Okay, guys? All right, guys. I want to do, um, I, I keep getting tons of questions. I keep getting tons of support tickets. Um, I want to roll into two things. One, um, has anybody purchased your agency website during this call? If you've purchased your agency website, please drop in the word purchased my agency website so we can send you out a free swag bag. If you do it before the end of this live session, we will send you out a swag bag with some really cool stuff. All right, let's do some Q&A. Uh, you guys can start asking me some Q&As. Purchase, so said. Awesome. Purchase my website. Purchase my website. Amazing. All right, guys. Let's start doing some Q&A. Let's start doing some Q&A. Um, we got a question here. When running ads with Dash Clicks, do we pay for the ads and include ad spend retainer in our clients, or do our clients pay for them? Um, guys, very good question. Your clients should pay for their own ad spend. You should never include the ad spend inside of your actual retainer fee. Don't do that. If your whole thing is three grand and it's one thousand in ad spend, you take two grand from the client and have your client spend one thousand dollars, and Facebook will charge them directly. Once again, it's transparent. So you're showing them that you're spending the entire thousand dollars in ads. That's number one. Two, it's a less liability for you in case a customer for some reason does a dispute on you or something like that, that you don't have to now eat another thousand dollars. Okay? So you need to do it separately. Okay? Any questions? Drop in your questions, guys. Drop in any questions that you have. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. Let's roll over to Facebook. Boom. 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 Got to have a Dashers background in the future for white background looking good. Got to have a Dash Clicks background in the future for the white. Oh, for the whiteboard. Yeah, we're actually working on a, a video that's going to be like looping and stuff like that. And the TV. Thank you. Appreciate that. Any other questions that you guys have for me? Any questions at all, guys? Hit me. Yeah, there you go. Get this little thing out of here. Let's go full screen so you can see my face. Um, do you include messenger bots with the campaigns? Um, right now, we are not doing messenger bots. It is a feature that we are going to be adding in the future. It's on our features list. We're going to be doing an API with many chat. We're going to be working on that. We're going to be offering message bots in a couple of months. It's not something that's out right now. However, there is people that we are currently running Facebook ads for that have built their own messenger bots, and we're just sending traffic to that messenger bot. So you can do the messenger bot for right now. We can build the campaign, send traffic to it. So that's a good solution. A lot of people are using us for that right now. <coughs> Somebody said, this is mind-blowing stuff. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Lorraine said, pre-order the website, but don't have an agency logo yet. Do we get in contact with someone that can define how we want the site? Guys, uh, Lorraine, site's pretty simple. The site is already pre-built. Built. It's going to look pretty much like the sample that I just showed you. And it's going to be synced to your agency dashboard. So whenever you do get a logo, you can just, boom, upload your logo on the agency dashboard, and it will roll it over straight to your website. Plus, on top of that, the agency website is fully customizable, which means you can use our drag-and-drop platform right inside of the dashboard on February 1st when the website goes live. 
goes live and you can change anything that you want. You can change content. You can always change out your logo. If you ever rebranded your logo, change colors. You can do anything you want. It's fully customizable. You don't need to be a web developer. You don't need to be a coder. This is something that's just drag and drop. Boom. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. Really, really easy to use. Okay. Um, does your team do Facebook dynamic ads? William said, yes, we can do that for you. We can definitely do that for you. We've done that multiple times in the past. What else, you guys? Hit me. Hit me with some questions. Let me start calling out some people in here. I'm going to start calling out some people in here. Brian, Chad, Christian, uh, Sincel, Damian, Dan, Eric, G6. Cool name. Jay Blake, Janine, Lorraine, Matthew, Michael, Michael, Michelle, Philip, Rebecca, Tyler, William. Come on, guys. Who's got questions? Who's got some questions? Um, so we add custom service. So we can add. Does your team do Facebook dynamic ads? Um, so we can add custom services. I'm, I'm assuming you're Rebecca. <coughs> you're referring to the custom website, agency website. Yeah, you can add whatever services you want. You can add as many new pages. You can turn it into a 25 from a 25 page website to a 500 page website. You can do anything you want. There's no additional fees. So as an example, if you're offering graphic design, which Dashlix doesn't really offer. Um, you can just create a new page under your services and just put maybe a portfolio of your graphic design work, right? Somebody says, I missed how much your website are. Agency website, guys, right now, it is $249. This is a one-time fee. So you pay this one time. Okay, this is a one-time fee, and then after that, it's $25 a month. Ooh. All right, let me rewrite that. Oh, come on. $25 a month. Okay. This $25 a month includes hosting. It includes an SSL certificate. Let's just say cert. Okay. And then it includes access to our drag and drop editor. Now, if you look at it, guys, hosting is anyways about five or ten bucks a month. You got to pay that if you have a website, okay? An SSL certificate is like a hundred bucks a year, okay? And then you don't have a drag and drop platform, and if you do, it's not as good as ours, okay? And this whole thing is integrated into Dash Clicks. It's also hosted on Amazon Web Services, which means your website are super fast, like super fast, okay, guys? Your website score, like if some of you are running WordPress websites right now. Guys, run your go to Google. Um, go to Google Speed Test. Run your WordPress website through there. Okay, it's probably like a 40 or 50 or 60 out of 100. Our websites are like 98, 99 out of 100. Super fast. Okay, lightning speeds. Okay, and not no, it's not WordPress. It's built on our web builder platform, Rebecca. Um, so it's just a simple drag and drop platform. Um, if you're familiar with Wix, it's kind of like it's not like Wix, but it's kind of like Wix. You can just drag and drop, easy to use, right? Um, services let's see is does the purchase charge receipt show the dash clicks logo or my agency brand um, Nico said um, does the purchase or charge receipt um, I'm not sure what that means I'm assuming when you put when you're the only one that's able to purchase from us your clients cannot purchase from us um, so it would show the agent like dash clicks and just send your receipt for whatever you purchase It will never go to your customers though your customers never see anything about dash clicks ever in their entire history That's like the whole point of our program the whole thing's white labeled um, Philip said what's your closed tactic to get clientele any industry? Um, I recommend Philip. Um, I did a couple really good. I think in episode one um, I'm not gonna you know you can just go watch uh, but if you go into um, if you go into dash clicks log into your account click university up at the top, click marketer's mindset button, uh, go to episode one and episode two. I talked about tons of tactics on what we do to get clientele. So I recommend watching that. Those are really, really good for you, okay? Um, Damien said, what might a Facebook ads campaign for an agency look like strategy? Um, targeting different industries, right? You can target dentists, accountants, chiropractors, right? There's tons, there's a list of services that you can go after. Uh, essentially, it's running Facebook ads to a funnel, generating leads for yourself, and then you actually going and scheduling a call and making it, you know, making it, right? Um, so that's what I recommend doing, Damien. If you haven't purchased your Facebook ad services yet, you can do that in the store, and we can definitely do that for you and help you out. 
Um, let's see. Let's keep going. We got some questions here. Boy, you guys got a lot of questions today. Today. All right, let me get this full width. Um, Michelle, so are we building it or are you offering images as templates? Michelle, we actually deliver a pre-built product. The whole thing is built out. All of the graphics, all of the content, the layout, everything is ready for you to use. So that basically means on February 1st, you're going to have a new website that you don't need to do anything to. Okay. Now, if you want, you can go in there and fully customize the whole website. It's completely up to you. Okay. Hopefully that helps. Uh, Miko says, Amazon Web Service so, so, servers are ish. Okay, thank you. Are the ish. Yes, they are. They're fast as hell, guys. Okay. Um, Philip says, so once the site is up and we send clients over to the site, they can buy. Um, your customers cannot buy from you on the website. It is an informational website. It's not like an e-commerce store or anything like that. Okay. Um, it's an informational website that basically shows all of the services that you offer and that we offer, DashClicks offers. And it also showcases all of the technology on what they're going to see when they purchase services from you and they log in. It's basically like an awesome website for everything. So hopefully that helps. As far as my agency getting paid. Yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, let's keep going. I'm going to give away a couple swag bags in a minute, guys. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to throw away some goodies. Uh, is this a promotional price? This is a promotional price. It will be good until February 1st. After that, the price is doubling to $499 one-time fee and then $25 a month. If you buy your website now before I close out this session, which takes about 30 seconds, go into the store, click agency website, pre-order it there on the spot, $249 plus $25. It comes out to $274, which covers your entire website and covers your first month of service. Okay? So, promotional um, price that's happening and it's a pre order. Those are for all the pre orders. So, if you do that right now, not only are you going to get the website on February 1st, we're also going to send you out a swag bag with a bunch of goodies too, which alone is probably worth about 50 bucks itself. What other questions we got? What other questions do we got? Let's go to Facebook. Let's roll over to Facebook. Um, Dean said, pre qualifying. Qualifying script for HVAC clients to get cold calling. Um, I think I did a whole script thing in episode one. Um, and if I didn't, I'll actually add that to the list. That might be a good one. Um, best initial build for residential HVAC clients. Example, Facebook ads. Yeah, so for, for HVAC clients, guys, um, I wouldn't run Facebook ads. Um, I would run Google ads. And that's for, you know, if somebody's looking for a AC repair. Um, your AC is not always broken, right? It might happen once every couple of years, right? So somebody's looking for AC repair, they're going to go to Google and search for it. So that's where you want to be, and you want to show them the ads and be number one there. So that's definitely 100%. Um, Susan said, how do you get past what the client wants? You know it's wrong, and what you should be doing for Facebook ads. Guys, so I, I'm assuming if your question is um, they want Google ads, but you know they should be running Facebook ads instead, if that's your question, straight up, I would just tell them that. I would say, hey, I don't think this campaign is going to be a good fit for you. And this is why. Like, I'll give you a perfect example for the AC industry. Facebook is not a good campaign to run because if my AC is broken, I'm going to go to Google and search for an AC repair company. That's where you want to be. You don't want to be on Facebook showing ads to people because you can't target people whose AC is broken. It just doesn't work that way, right? So that's what I would recommend doing. <coughs> let's keep rolling. All right, um, let's see. Ooh, we got a couple more. All right, Matthew said, when driving traffic to an agency funnel, will you have a prospect schedule via schedule once or calendly? Um, you can include that option. It's not recommended because the reason why it, it, it drives up the cost per acquisition, the cost per lead, really, really high. Um, if you can do the outbound call, it's a lot better. Right, so if you can generate the lead and then do the outbound call and schedule then, and or just pitch right there on the spot, up to you. Um, the cost per lead will be really, really cheap. Okay, so I recommend doing that. Michelle says, "Will you be uploading it with the new features as you roll out, or we have to do the updates?" Um, that question is something that we spoke about. We're not 100% sure yet. It's got to be custom coded into the platform. I don't have that answer for you right now. Which is Sorry about that, Michelle. What do we got? What else do we got? What else do we got? I'm going to flip back over to social media. Let's see what else we got. got. Dean said Word. Nico said Best Use Google. 
Let's go. Let go. What else we got? What else we got? What else do we got? All right, let's give away some swag bags. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Carlos, why don't you come on up here? <laughs> Carlos, what questions should we ask them? I want to give away some swag bags. What questions should we ask them? Let's do some fun stuff. Let's do some fun stuff. Carlos is thinking really hard. Carlos, hit the GoPro really quick so they can see you think. Oh, wait, Michelle had a question while you're thinking. She said, can our, I know you can hit, leave the GoPro. That's fine. You can hit me from far, Carlos. Um, <clears throat> how can your clients, how can our clients use their leads? Will they be emailed to them or notify them? Um, there's actually an entire CRM system. So as a lead comes in, it gets put right into the lead section into their dashboard and they get an email notification. Um, so that's how they get their leads. And your clients can log right into the platform and boom, see everything. I did some math, 5,000 5, and two was the total number added up during the webinar to keep us active. <laughs> Eric, you're hilarious. All right, um, let's do some trivia. Get Tommy in here. Get Tommy in here. Let me get Tommy in here. Tommy's always good with the trivia questions. Tommy! We need you in here, Tommy. Let's go. Tommy's on a call. Tommy's always on a call. Let's get Gil in here. Let's get Gil. Let's introduce Gil into this live world. Guys, who's worked with Gil? Who's, um, who's, who, who's currently has any accounts and has worked with Gil? Drop a one in the chat if you have an account with us and you're working with Gil. Or you've worked with Gil. Gil's one of our project managers. Drop a one in the chat. Drop a one in the chat. Drop a one in the chat. Nobody's worked with Gil? Shit, we're getting the wrong person in here. We are getting the wrong person in here. Ooh. Ooh. Is everyone busy? What is going on in here today? Up in here. Up in here. All right, screw it. I'm going to do a trivia question. Tommy's bomb. Carlos is bomb. Gil is bomb. Dean said, thank you for that, Dean. We appreciate that. We appreciate that. Hey guys, all right, let's do, um, let's give away a swag bag. Um, what year was Social Agency open, our retail agency? Who knows? What year was Social Agency open? Our retail agency, 2009. Philip, getting a swag bag. Philip, what size are you and what agency are you? Philip, what size are you and what is your agency name? Carlos, can you write, Philip is a large. Philip just won himself a nice little swag bag. What's your agency name, Philip? So we can look you up in the system. Affluent Marketing Agency. Good job, Philip. Large. Congratulations, Philip. Let's see. Uh, let's, let's do another one. Let's do another one. You know what? Carlos, can you grab the wheel spin? Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Right over there. Let's have some fun. We're going to have some real fun. I'm going to get the wheel spin out for you guys. Now, I don't do this for everybody. You're a special group. Let's get this wheel spinning. Can you go um, front facing on the camera? Boom. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get a wheel spin going. Let's get a wheel spin going. Who wants to do a wheel spin? Drop a 303 if you want to do a wheel spin. 303 if you want to do a wheel spin. 303 if you would like to do a wheel spin. 303 if you'd like a wheel spin right now. 303. All right. 303. First person who can guess the closest number that I'm going to write down on the back of this sheet, it is from 1 to 50. First person who can guess that number or get close to it gets a wheel spin right now. 
25, 43, 16, 26, 37, boom, William, 37, Dan Duran, 33, both of you guys get a wheel spin, my number was 35, 35, well you can't see it, but it's 35, alright, so this is the way that we're going to play the wheel spin, now forget about what it says on the wheel spin, okay, Dan Duran, go ahead and pick a color for me, Pick a color, Dan. I'm going to spin the wheel, and if it hits that color, we're going to send you off. We're going to send you off the swag bag. Dan Duran, pick a color for me before I go to the next person. All right, William, go ahead and pick a color for me. Dan Duran said blue. William said red. All right, let's roll. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, what is that on? That's a red. Who said red? Red, William. Boom. William, what size shirt are you and what's your agency name? William, what size shirt are you and what's your agency name? Medium. And his agency name is Strike Media. We're going to do another one. Let's do some trivia. Who knows what my favorite movie is? I said this, I think, in episode one or two. Drop it in. First one. First one to drop it in. Favorite movie. Who knows what my favorite movie is? Nope, it's not Rocky. Not Deadpool, not Godfather. Favorite movie. Who knows what my favorite movie is? By the way, those of you guys who are on Facebook, you should be in the live webinar. The live webinar are the people who are winning the prizes and not looking at Facebook. So, boom. Dan Duran said Wolf of Wall Street. Dan Duran, pick another color. Pick another color, Dan. What color are we doing for you, brother? How about this? Pick two colors. Red and what else? Give me one more. Red and give me one more color, Dan. Blue. Lands on red or blue. We love you. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, oh, what is that? That's a yellow. Dan, we're sorry about that, sir. No winner. No winner, guys. No winner. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. <laughs> Dan said, what the hell? <laughs> Let's do another one, guys. In episode one of Marketer, Marketer's Mindset, what was the three prospecting topics that I went over? Episode one of Marketer's Mindset, what were the three topics for prospecting that I discussed and showed you guys how to do? What was it? Take a guess, people. Take a guess. Top three prospecting topics, what was it? What was it? What was it? Cold calls, walk-ins, and cold emails. Michael, first one. Michael, pick two colors, Michael. Pick two colors, Michael. Pick two colors, Michael. Hee hee. Let's go. Red and green, let's go. Red and green, baby. Red and green. Red and green. Red or green, red, oh, we got a red, people, we got a red, Michael, agency name and shirt size, please, agency name and shirt size, guys, I'm going to do one more thing, uh, <laughs> Dan said it's rigged, um, Michael's is Michael Aiden Media, Michael Alden Media, large. Guys, I'm going to do one more thing here. If you have purchased your agency website, before this call ends, we're going to stay on for another five minutes. If you purchase your agency website in the next five minutes, I'm going to send you out a swag bag. Okay, guys? Swag bag is going to have mouse pad, pen, bag, and a t-shirt. Marketer's Mindset t-shirt like I'm wearing right now. 
And on the back, it says limitations. Limitations are only in our mind. Oh, limitations are only in our mind, but if we use our, our imaginations, our possibilities become limitless. And that is damn true, people. If you think about it. Dan, I love you too, man. All right, guys, let's do a, a little bit more Q&A. Dean. Dean said, I'm here. I switched from Facebook. <laughs> All right, we're going to do one more. One more. Just because Dean came back. All right, we're going to do one more. Let's talk about one more topic. What's the number one selling service DashClicks has in the last three months? <coughs> First one. CNEL said Facebook. CSNEL. CSNEL. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, CSNEL, go ahead and pick a color. Pick two colors. Go ahead. CSNEL. Snell. Pick two colors. Blue, red. Here we go. Here we go. Winner, 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 chicken dinner. Winner, 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 chicken dinner. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? He said blue and red. But it's not. It is actually purple. Wow. Maybe on the next one. Maybe on the next one. Maybe on the next one. Guys, one thing I want to stress out is it's 2019. It's a New Year's. Okay, guys? Those of you guys who are agency owners, some of you guys might be trying to get your first client. Okay? Some of you guys might be trying to hit six figures this year in 2019. Okay? Some of you guys might be trying to hit seven figures. You know, realistically, some of you guys, you know, we have some customers in Dash Clicks that, you know, they have 40, 50, 60 clients that they're servicing, right? In 2019, I want you guys in the chat, and even if you're on social media, Drop in what your goals are for 2019 for your agency. Go ahead and drop in what your goals are. And the best goal is going to get a wheel spin. Go ahead and drop in your goals for 2019. What is your goal for your agency? Dan Duran said 100K. Dean said a million dollars. Michael Alden said 100K month by July. William Connick says 500,000. What else we got? What else we got? Nobody else said a goal? Eric said, 10K a month. Philip said, growth to service the business expand. Okay. Snell said, I'm trying to make 5K a month. Jay Blake, a billion month. Well, $100,000 a year. <laughs> I have a full-time job and two kids and coach AAU basketball, so I'm busy, Snell said. That is busy. You know what? Who else? Who else? Mr. J. Blake. Pick two colors, J. Blake. Lorraine said, replace my current income, leave my 9 to 5, and help my business expand. Lorraine, pick two colors too. Jay Blake said red and green. Let's roll, people. Let's roll, people. Red or green? Ooh. What is it? Red. Boom. Jay Blake. Agency name and shirt size. Agency name and shirt size. Jay Blake, congratulations. You've won yourself a swag bag. Agency name. Agency name and size. Lorraine said, um, Jay Blake's agency name is JB Media One, and he'll take a large. Lorraine, let's go. Purple and blue. Purple and blue. I love you. Purple or blue? Purple. Oh, unfortunately, Lorraine, it was a red. Unfortunately, Lorraine, it was a red. All right, guys. 
Next week, um, we're going to be doing marketer's mindset. Um, we're going to be trying to do this more often. Um, like I said at the beginning of this um, uh, webinar, I'm actually going to be moving my entire office um, into this studio. So hit me with the GoPro really quick, Carlos. So what you guys see on the actual GoPro is only half of this space. There's a whole nother half behind that camera, which is pretty goes down pretty long. Okay. So I'm gonna be I'm moving in here for a reason. Let's go uh, full face. I'm moving in here for a reason, guys, and it's because I want to be able to create more educational series. Okay. I want to be able to provide more value. I want to be able to go live more. I want to be able to teach more. I want to be able to just be with you guys more, right? Um, let's go full screen on me, Carlos. And um, that's my goal for 2019, to be able to educate. And through education, people buy. Now, I'm not sitting here trying to sell you guys, but I'm saying it's part of life, right? If we can educate you and we can help you guys be successful, it's a win-win for the both of us. Okay? So for those of you guys who have not yet added a client into DashClicks, even if it's for your own agency, okay, I highly advise you to just jump, just jump in and put one client in and see what happens. See how that one client, or even drop in your agency, see how that can change your life. Okay, guys? See how that can change your life. Okay? Also, for those of you guys who are watching the replay on social media, um, or for those of you guys who are watching the replay inside of the Dash Clicks dashboard, um, obviously you're here, right? So um, Marketer's Mindset is every single video that we create, we're going to upload into the Dash Clicks platform, and we're going to be uploading them a couple of days after we go live. And the reason for that is not because we can't upload it the same day, which we can, but we want to are on the live session to get all the cool promotions, to get the swag bag promos, to hear all the new features that are happening before anybody else. Because you guys took the value and the time to sit here with me today. And because of that, you guys should get first serve at pretty much anything. Okay? So if you didn't get a chance to watch this live and you're watching it in the dashboard, or you're watching it on Facebook, or you're watching it on Instagram, or you're watching it wherever the hell you are in this world, I highly recommend the next time that we send out an invite that you guys go, it's completely free, and register for the event. Okay, guys? Because when you're here live, you can ask questions, you can interact, you can get your questions answered that some of you have bottled up that you don't know the answers to. I'll be here to help you guys. I'm here to support you guys. That's what I'm here for, okay? So if you have those questions, just let me know, man. So, guys, happy 2019. Um, this was episode three of Dash Clicks by Marketer's Mindset. Thank you once again for spending your time with us, and I'll see you, see you on the next one. Cut off everything.